I have an extra large coffee with two cream and a shot of espresso in it, please. No, thank you. Nope. Super duper. It's gonna be a good day. It's gonna be a really good day. That'll be on debit. Thank you very much. I was a super de-duper, except for the part where I forgot my wallet was in my jean pocket. It's always tough getting stuff out of your jean pocket while you're driving. Okay, buddy, that's green. Green means go. I got stuff to do. People need their stuff. I gotta bring it to them. What would they do if I didn't bring them their stuff? They just wouldn't have their stuff. Or they'd have to go get their stuff themselves. And we don't want them to do that. We want them to have a good day. So we're gonna bring it to them for them. So we better get to the truck. It's a little bit of a chilly morning. Well, it's only minus 14, for crying out loud, Josh. I thought for sure when I stepped out of the house this morning, I'm like, wow, it's so cold. It's gotta be like minus 30 today. What's wrong with me? Minus 14. That's like March weather. We haven't even had a January yet. We haven't even hit minus 25 from what I've seen. If we did, it was for like a short period of time overnight. Usually it's minus 25, minus 30 all day, every day for weeks. And then, you know, with the wind chill, minus 50. This winter? No, everything was melting yesterday. It was beautiful. I don't know what's going on, but I like it. Just keep doing it. Another day, another dock. I gotta wait for Mr. Container Man beside me here. He's got a sticker on his truck that says he's super heavy. You wanna see it? You don't believe me? Can you see through my dirty window? I haven't had a chance to clean it today yet. Super heavy. So you better watch out. I'm getting kinda of super heavy too, if you know what I mean. <laughs> I blame Christmas and I regret nothing all the goodies <laughs> I ate them all all of them we still have some chocolates left at home but and Brit has her cookies because her mom makes her favorite shortbread cookies I think that's what they are short, short sugar cookies shortbread cookies. I don't know her mom makes her favorite cookies for her right Trucker Josh isn't allowed to touch them because if Trucker Josh would touch them they'd be gone in 10 minutes so she's got one container left in the freezer for her and i gotta look at it every time i open the freezer there it is all these cookies just looking at me and all i can do is run to the end of my leash and bark <laughs> that was actually uh that's a uh, jeff foxworthy saying isn't it <laughs> i'm sure you guys have heard of him jeff foxworthy uh, the blue collar comedy tour those guys are hilarious. Uh, what are some of your favorite comedians? Some of mine are uh, obviously the the, uh, the Geeter Dunn, Larry the Cable Guy, uh, Jeff Foxworthy. Oh, what's their uh, their buddy's name there that's always with them? Jeff Foxworthy. You know the other guy. Here's no. Here's your sign. That's Jeff Foxworthy, right? 
Or is that the other? You know what I mean. And then there's Russell Peters. He's hilarious. He's from Canada here. Uh, I don't know. Sometimes I like to just sit down and just get a good laugh. It, it really feels good. You know? Comedians, they should be... Uh, I don't know, maybe they should be recognized a little bit more, you know? They really... Being able to brighten someone's day does a lot for their, their health, I think. Mm -hmm. I got Timmy's today, if you didn't notice. I was very excited. I haven't gotten Timmy's all week, so... I woke up a little late today. I slept in. I did. I didn't sleep past my alarm. I just usually give myself time to shower. I didn't this morning. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? We're gonna start off around Steinbach this morning. Good old home stomping grounds. Got a bunch of stuff to bring people. They're waiting for me. I've got your stuff. Oh, somebody's getting a spanking. They always sit here. They always, always sit right here. Cause this is a new 80 kilometer an hour zone. It's like a 50 mile an hour zone. Well, not new, new. It's been here probably for uh, six to nine months, something like that. And uh, this used to be 100 km an hour coming into town here, but since the industrial zone has been, or commercial industrial zone has been spreading out north of Steinbach here, they've added traffic lights at these big intersections and lowered the speed limit to 80 km an hour. And uh, this guy, this guy right here, his little blue ghost car, it's not very much of a ghost car because Everyone knows he's a cop. He sits here all the time. Spanking people who forgot that the speed limit got lower. That stays on your record for five years. And I'm guessing if you come in here in 100 in an 80 zone, your ticket's gonna be close to about 500 bucks. I don't know. I haven't gotten a ticket in a long time, so I wouldn't know. In town now we're just gonna turn ourselves onto Main Street because they want all truck traffic going right through the heart of town. <laughs> there is a road that goes around Steinbach, like Hespler and Lowen, but they don't want any trucks on that road. No, the trucks, if you want to get to that end of town, you gotta go right through downtown. Uh-oh, I think that guy forgot something over there. Left his gate down. Yikes, that could hurt if someone bumped into that. Too bad I couldn't get beside him, I would've let him know. Yikes, hopefully he doesn't back up somewhere and whatever. Man. Let's get ourselves on the main. We gotta get to the other side of town to bring people their stuff. notice that I'm in the left lane. While I drive through Steinbach on this stretch of Main Street, I always keep myself in the left lane because of all the cars parked on the right. I don't know if you can see that guy over there. They just, they swing their door open right into traffic and get out of their vehicle without looking. And I don't want to hit their doors. Sometimes they have kids that pop out between the vehicles that want to get in the vehicle and they definitely don't look. And they just swing the door open right into traffic all the time. And if you're not very careful, sometimes they park a little closer to the, to the actual lane of traffic. You know, you could take off someone's door or worse, hit somebody. So while I go through Main Street here, I'm always in the left lane just to avoid accidents. Because the people of Steinbach have really got to learn when you're parked on Main Street, don't just swing your door open, you might get hurt. But anyone who lives around here knows exactly what I'm talking about. It happens all the time. So when I'm in the big truck especially, I just avoid that. So if you're wondering why, that's why. Once we get past these parked vehicles in this parking area, then I go back in the right lane. It's all about safety.
all that warm weather yesterday melted a bunch of stuff the cold weather overnight froze it all up what do you know science pretty sure that's science what do I know I'm a nobody I'm just kidding. oh wow yeah that's slippery all right Woo! take her easy so we're done in Steinbeck for the morning now I gotta head all the way into the big city in Winnipeg. So when I say the city, I'm talking about Winnipeg. That's Manitoba talk for Winnipeg. That's the city. When I talk about going to town, that means Steinbeck. And that could mean a bunch of other, depending on where you're from. Town is usually where you're from. leaving town and we're going to the city. Now you understand my lingo. Now the goal is to get to the city without slipping off the road. And also bring people some stuff. I like doing that. I like it a lot. I bring people stuff. I 
up in the rural area of South Winnipeg and bring it to the city in the morning, empty it, and then fill the trailer up again and head back to the south. And it works out perfect because since I live down there in the south, as soon as I'm done, this truck gets to park inside. So I park the truck inside and uh, off in my pickup, go straight home. It's not that long of a commute. So like I was saying, Steinbeck is a good 45 minutes from the city, depending on where in the city you are. From here, it'll probably be 35, 40 minutes. Book it across the countryside and uh, it's not too far away. A little bit of highway driving though, so I get a good dose of both highway driving and city driving every day. It's a good balance. Guess it works better if we open that up first. Some of you have noticed that the truck and trailer is a little dirty. I know. It's because this is Manitoba and it's winter time. It's impossible to keep anything clean at this time of year. Impossible. I washed this just last week. The very next day it looked like this. So I do try to wash it as often as I can, especially if I get off early. Spend some time cleaning it off. But it is very hard to keep equipment clean in the winter time. In the summertime, you'll see that this thing is sparkling a lot more. It's all that road grime and everything. It's, it's a pain. you whining about my whining. Take that. Ah! I win. Time's infinity. That's that. Got her parked nice and safe inside, all tucked in for night. Time for me to take my, uh, my work bag and sneak it to the pickup truck. Don't laugh. Bags aren't essential. But I've heard that uh, apparently these ridiculous laws on not being able to sell non-essential items is supposed to be done this coming weekend. Here's to hoping that our government 
isn't as insane as they have proven to be. That doesn't make sense. They're insane, okay? I wouldn't put it past them. Okay, I gotta take everything inside and uh, we'll talk to you guys in a bit. Loving it. And I'm not talking about McDonald's. I'm loving that the sun is still above the horizon over there. You see it? It's five o'clock and the sun, you can still see the actual sun. Not just the light from the sun, the actual sun at five o'clock. I can already tell throughout the day that the sunlight is reflecting off the buildings and the surroundings at a better angle a higher angle. The days are getting longer. That's why spring, well it's not spring yet, but that's why spring is my favorite season. You got all of summer and fall ahead of you. The days keep getting longer. You know that before long you're gonna be sitting on a beach by a lake, or maybe on a boat fishing. I'd love to do more fishing this year. Britt actually told me recently that she really likes fishing. I didn't know this. We just never go. First of all, I've always been on the road, right? Always. So we never had time to do anything fun like that. Now we got time to do it, but we don't got a boat. But you can usually rent boats uh, in Western Manitoba. Uh, around the White Shell area there, like I think Batula Lake and Falcon Lake. There's places there where you can rent little fishing boats, right? You rent the boat for the day. I don't know what it is now. It's probably way more expensive now, but when I last rented a boat, it was probably 15 years ago. Yikes. Was it that long ago? No. No, 10 years ago, whatever, a long time ago. And it was 75 bucks for the day. Just a little, you know, Lund metal fishing boat or you know what I mean, right? Just a little one, a little motor on it. Probably like a 50 horse motor. Just to get you out there, right? Man, that was fun. We gotta do that this summer. Hold me to it, okay? Remind me when it gets warm. Okay, like remind me around like July, June, July. Josh, get out on the lake. Take your wife. Go do some fishing. Behind that door is my rock star welcome. You ready? Hey guys! Oh boy, oh boy! Oh. Tell me more! Sing! Sing! Jesus! Chevy, you're gonna get beeped! You're gonna get beeped! Oh my! Oh my. <laughs> I had a great day, thank you. Thank you. Did you miss me? You missed me not at all? What? Just a little bit. Oh, and the little guys. Chevy, Chevy, you got your you got your time already. Hello. Hello, Wiener. Hello. No, no, you don't need to lick my jeans. That's gotta be weird on your tongue, man. That's weird. Hello, Commander. What you got to say? What are you smelling this for? You smell like diesel fuel. Most importantly, you, who's awesome. You're this awesome. Girl. <laughs> I really enjoyed the lunch you made. Thank you. You are so welcome. Been having fun? Not really. Yeah. Bored out of my mind, but I go back to work on Sunday. I was about to spill the beans. She she got to it before me. Sunday, for sure? Well, unless the idiots. I mean, sorry, the powers that be decide to change their mind last minute. I mean, we give them the power to do that, so. The overlords. <laughs>